the doors towards the lights are off the edge of cooling the butter getting hard and the jello jig. All right, what up everybody? Welcome in the fridge, brought to you by Suitcase TV. I'm your host, Cody. All right, so this is a new segment we like to call, Yo, Who Dat? Who Dat? Who Dat? Me Dat. So on today's segment, Rachel Nichols from ESPN. Yo, Who Dat? I've been interviewing LeBron since his senior year in high school. So it's crazy to kind of have a front row seat to anyone's life right. from the age of 16 to 32. I know this because I went to Australia years and years ago to cover the Olympics. And every place I went, people would be like, oh, you're American? What is your favorite app that you use on your phone? ESPN app. Is that good, right? That's a great answer. That's a great answer. That's a good one. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed that one right there. Good job. Okay, go ahead. Perfect. All right, Rachel Michelle Nichols was born October 18th, 1973. She's a sports journalist who is currently a television host for ESPN, a sports reporter and an anchor. She hosts an NBA discussion show called The Jump weekdays on ESPN, covers news stories from around the league and features a panel of NBA analysts and players. We all get to continue on and try to evolve and move forward. And that is an OK thing. Too. Hugging them, of course, is one guy joke with me that'll probably last five or ten minutes till the first pass interference call, but still, it's gonna be a really nice five minutes. Okay, so her early life. In 1991, she was a graduate at Winston Churchill High School in Maryland and a graduate from a school of journalism in Northwestern University in 1995. So I was really cold. I really liked school. I love Northwestern. Yeah. I will rep Northwestern. I thought mm -hmm. it was a great school, great journalism school, fun, great Chicago I love. But I was not prepared. She began her career as a sports journalist in the 1990s, first writing for the Fort Lauderdale Sun Centennial Sports page. This is from 1995 to 1996. I thought that the Washington Post was kind of like the Bible of journalism and sports journalism and everything. I read All the President's Men 1,600 times. This was right before covering the NHL's Washington Capitals for the Washington Post. This was between 1996 and 2004. Hockey, also great. Also great. I was a hockey writer at the Washington Post. She joined ESPN in 2004, where she became a regular part of SportsCenter's Sunday NFL Countdown, Monday Night Countdown, as well as regular on the network's NFL and NBA coverage. She was also a correspondent for E60. She worked as a sideline reporter on a number of Monday Night Football broadcasts. And, uh, you know, especially as a quarterback, there's uh, you know, a lot of things that ride on this game because of the fact of the attention. And then she also left SportsCenter to go to CNN. Welcome, 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 welcome to Unguarded. This the same time Sports Illustrated called her the country's most impactful, prominent female sports journalist. And she also kind of attacked Money Mayweather and that kind of put her on the map a little bit as well. Did show some bruising, a concussion when she went to the hospital. It was your own kids who called the police, gave them a detailed description of the abuse. There's been documentation. Mm -hmm. um, once again, uh, no pictures just hearsay and allegations. In 2016, she returned to ESPN and started co-hosting The Jump. She also became a recurring guest host on the podcast, Part of My Take, as well as Part of the Interruption. It's like, I would just love to, <laughs> right? But so when they got the deal to do PTI, all of us were like, right, okay. Yeah, that yeah makes that's perfect. right. Like, so that's, that's well, the well, show you've been right, doing right, in like, this you're, office. So you're right? just gonna come tape it here, right? Yeah. All right, so she has been named Esquire's Women We Love and the Hollywood Reporter's 10 Most Powerful Voices in Sports Media. She was also named Sports Illustrator's Twitter's 100 in 2013 and 2014. Nobody goes to church anymore. Nobody's going to this vote. People don't vote anymore, yeah, right? Yeah. They vote on no listening to the same music. Mm. Nobody is, you know, watching the same movies. Apparently no one's watching TV anymore. They're all watching, you know. So there's one place that we all hang out. We hang out watching sports. So we gotta talk about shit. All right, and Rachel married a music video director named Max Nichols, son of film and stage director Mike Nichols. Uh, this was in Venice in 2001. They had two children together, um, twin daughters. So that's pretty much her story. So like ESPN had a, you know, a couple ladies that they tried to work it out with, but you know, Rachel ended up getting it. Start with you, 
this Raptors championship run, the, the guys ran it down, how amazing it's been. What will you remember? I'm most? a side with you, Jerry Rose. All right, and that's the show for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit a comment down below. Maybe who you want to see next. It's in the fridge. Lights are out. The eggs are cooling. The butter's getting hard. And soup is cooking. We out. Sandwich, hamburger. I get your hot dog. Sandwich, hamburger. I mean, it's a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>